Hi, welcome to another video. This is Darren from EnglishTuition.org. Now school will be reopening in a couple of days time, which is uh, the day after tomorrow. And tomorrow happens to be New Year's Day, so Happy New Year in advance. And tonight will be the countdown, and tomorrow let's hope that everyone can have a very enjoyable holiday. Now 2019 may mean to be a stressful year for some students, especially for those who are taking the PSLE. So some may ask, what does PSLE really mean? Now let's get the obvious out of the way because most people will understand PSLE to mean uh, to be the acronym to stand for Primary School Leaving Examination. However, some students come to me and tell me, now because I'm an uh, English tutor, they come to me and they tell me, now Mr. Chow, PSLE really means please stop learning English. So please stop learning English so I don't have to attend your lessons anymore. To which I reply, PSLE can also mean please start learning English. So instead of stopping it to learn English, you should actually start to learn English and become good at the subject to the extent that you find English to be a very enjoyable subject. Now when the student start to enjoy the subject itself, he or she will not find it to be so stressful anymore. Okay, he will use it more often in his daily life. Uh, he will find that reading has become easier. He's able to understand uh, what his teachers and tutors are trying to tell him because of his improved uh, listening skills. Now, it's only logical that a student becomes better at a certain subject if he or she spends more time on it. So the same goes for language subjects. And students need to get the practice in in order to become good and proficient in the subjects. Now, when they become proficient in the subject, PSLE may come to mean please start loving English. So when you're good at something, the tendency is that you will start to enjoy uh, the subject even more. Okay, You will not hesitate you know, to read uh, certain text passages. You will not hesitate to read news articles. You will not hesitate to read your favorite books. Right? There are so many uh, books on different subjects out there. But if your language is weak, then you will always resist this type of activities. And then you will never become uh, proficient at the subject. So if possible, you know, these students will try to avoid. Now, the, the, the more they avoid the subject, the less progress they make. This is only natural. So once again, once the student becomes very proficient in the language, there should be less stress or uh, even better, there shouldn't be any stress at all, right? Because the students get to uh, learn to enjoy uh, the subject. And then PSLE can really come to stand for Primary School Learning Enjoyment. Now that's all I have to share in this short little video and I have one last acronym for PSLE and that is please subscribe, like, enjoy the videos. Thank you and if you like the videos, remember to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and leave your comments about what you think PSLE really stands for in the comment section below. Have a nice day and I will talk to you soon in the next video. Bye.